Blood culture contamination has a huge effect on patient safety, on appropriate recognition and treatment of sepsis, which we know is a significant worldwide problem, and certainly here at MUSC. The importance of diagnostic accuracy in sepsis is it's critical, um, because as we know from the literature, time to antibiotic is 100% correlates with survival. If you're getting a lot of positive cultures, then, you're, then you sort of don't react as much to when you get one that's real, because you're trying to discern real from contamination. It's sort of a phenomenon of alert fatigue. The ED is a really important place to try to reduce contamination. They do a lot of blood cultures. In the MUSC ED, what we did is a variety of interventions that markedly reduced our blood culture and contamination rate. What we used is a device that essentially takes out the first um, couple of cc's of blood when you're drawing the blood for the blood culture. Um, so it sort of siphons off the potential contamination from the skin. And then that took a, um, a whole host of education and training, um, primarily for the nurses um, and others that were drawing the blood to make sure they could do it right. There are national standards for contaminated cultures. And that national standard is 3%. That doesn't mean it's good. It just means it's acceptable. In our hospital back in 2009, we had a 7% contamination rate for our adult emergency room. We worked very hard with the Nurse Alliance to decrease contamination rates. We were able to get the rates down to 4% by 2012, but they seemed to kind of stay stationary. In the fall of 2015, the emergency room contacted us about participating in an evaluation of the Steripath mechanical diversion device in order to decrease contamination. And the problem with contaminating skin and environmental flora, nobody is particularly interested in those organisms that live on the skin. We need to know what is in the patient's blood itself that's what needs to be killed. From the time they started using this device, it was like going from darkness into daylight. You saw an almost immediate decrease in the contamination rate with the use of the SteriPath device from when we didn't have it to when we did have it. We presented at the Institute for Healthcare Improvement meeting our usage of the SteriPath device showing that our contamination rate over those 20 months was less than 1%. And if we had used this device for every single patient in that 20 month period of time, we would have saved $745,000 just in the emergency room alone. It's really important to um, reduce um, total blood culture contamination because when it occurs, it results in the patient having to undergo additional testing and oftentimes um, antibiotic prescribing. Um, most of the time that's completely unnecessary. So it's an added cost, it's an extra burden, um, and it can cause all sorts of antibiotic associated um, diseases also, you know, which is just a burden to the patient. So reducing it as low as humanly possible is really important for quality and safety.